Hey guys, it's Otom here, and welcome back to SCP Containment Breach. I have updated the game to 1.2.3. There's not anything major going on, it's just a few bug fixes, which hopefully should help with the whole, you know, crashing situation, and hopefully we'll be able to beat the game without having to restart. Um, but yeah, this time, I am going to go for... Oops, not load game, new game. I'm going to go for a bit of a longer run. Um, because basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get every achievement in the whole game in one run. So this run is going to be quite long and hopefully I can do it. Uh, there might be a few glitches along the way. I don't know. You know what I'm going to do actually? I'm going to, uh, where is it? See some uh, load map, right? There's an example map, which I believe was made by the developer himself. And therefore, if this map was made by the developer himself, surely it should be a working map. Maybe, I don't know, but I'm going to play it. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's Larry's Revenge or if it's just different, but I'm going to play this. So, let's just do Tom. I'll leave the intro on. Put it on. I'll have it on safe purely because of the glitches, because obviously if I have it on the one where you have to save a screen and I get a memory access violation, that just fucks a lot of stuff up. So I'd rather just have it on safe and, well, be safe from memory access violations. But, um, yeah, two things. One... I need a haircut, badly, because I look, I'm starting to look a bit like a mushroom, a bit like Toad from Mario, but with hair instead of an actual mushroom. And two, um, I'm really sorry about the consistency on my channel recently. It's been shit, I know, I'm sorry. I've, I started university again like two days ago, and that's why I haven't uploaded in like the past three days, because I was getting ready, and then I was at uni, so... Yeah. Also, I'm talking a little bit quieter than usual because it's quite late and I've been told to keep the noise down. So, <laughs> if you can't hear me well enough, I'm sorry, but I have to be quiet. I can't shout like I usually do. I'm not really sure why I left the intro on because it's not going to be any different, but... Screw it. It doesn't matter. But, um, it gives me an opportunity to talk anyway. So, yeah, I went to uh, Eurogamer, which was good. Re like, really good. I met, um... Like, all, not all of the Yogg's cast, but I met, like, quite a lot of the Yogg's cast. I met Duncan, Kim, uh, Hat Films, Lewis, Hannah, Shin, and Terps. I spoke to Smithy, like, twice, which was pretty cool. Um, and in terms of games, I played... Oh, God, what did I play? <laughs> the lines were very long. I lined up for, like, four hours for Halo, so that was, that was fun. Um... <laughs> But yeah, I played Halo 5, I played The Division, I played... Whoa. What the hell was that noise? Oh yeah, I played Halo 5, The Division, the new Assassin's Creed, a couple of other games. I went up on stage at um, the PlayStation booth. Because I was like, oh, who wants to come up and play Destiny? And I was like, yeah, why not? Let's go. But they was like, oh, if you don't win, you have to dance on stage. So I ended up dancing on stage. So that was pretty funny, I guess. And um, I played on the YouTube stage as well. Um, oh, what did I play? Gang Beasts. The guy was like, oh, who wants to come up stage and play Gang Beasts? And everyone was like, what the fuck is Gang Beasts? But I knew what it was, so I just ran up the front like, me! <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm in like the YouTube highlights video of day two. But I think I pop up for like one second, so. <laughs> Alright, anyway, we've had the talk. That's what I did on the weekend. That's why I've been inconsistent. But now, now we get to the serious shit. But yeah, so the short version is, I need a haircut, sorry for the inconsistency, EGX was really good, and here we go. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to try my best to get every single achievement before I go to gate B or A. Uh, so I'm not going to go to gate B or A until I have every achievement done. I don't know, can I check halfway through? I can, okay, so there are four, eight, zero, so, okay, a lot, basically, so what's that, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, uh, no, wait, <laughs> no, yeah, that is right, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-six, is that right? Yeah, there's twenty-six achievements, so I'm going to be, every time one pops up, I'll check that and make, and just, like, sort of see where I am. But yeah, let's get going. So the first achievement I can get... What, what, I'm trying to think of the achievements now. What, what have we got? What have we got? Does it tell me? 
You counter SCP-008. I don't know what that is. Uh, okay, uh, you know, most of these are like finding SCPs, so let's just go with that for now. Let's just try and find some SCPs. We can get it done. Alright, this is good, this is good. We got the gas mask room straight away. We can grab all that. And then leave. There we go. Whoa. What the fuck? Why is the screen shaking? Okay. That was pretty weird. Why is the screen shaking? Fire game. What are you doing? Oh, he's not here. I really expected him to be here. Alright, oh my god, okay. I can hear gunshots now. What the hell? Oh my god. I just heard like some Scottish guy say something. It sounded like he went, Hotty, get in, or something, something like that. That was a good accent. Right, got two level one cards, and we just got an achievement. There we go, there's the first achievement. The infinite loop, which is right here. Found the recursive room, there we go. So, we've already got one achievement. Only 25 more. That was one of the easy ones. Right, we've got a gas mask, so we can go through this room for once. Oh my god, why are there so many explosions? What is happening? Why are these noises only just starting to happen? They're supposed to happen at the beginning. What is this? Achievement number two! <laughs> Alright, I know where that is now. That's good, but it's not because I need to get a level two first before we can even go in there, so... Let's try and I'm gonna try and speed run this and get the achievements at the same time. So we need to try and find oh, why have I got the gas mask on still? God, the game is being so loud. I don't even have a gas mask on anymore. So I don't know why the game is making these weird noises. Oh my god. These noises are supposed to happen at the beginning, not like halfway through. Ah. <sighs> Alright, so, let's go this way. Hopefully we can find the room that gives us the level 2 key card. And that we have found it, because it's right around the corner by the sounds of it. I heard the noise, so it means it must be close. Unless that special glass was something else. Nope, there we go, there it is. This is exactly what I was looking for, All right. Wait, what? Light can What is happening right now? Why? Why did we start in heavy containment? What the hell? Since when did we start in heavy containment? I didn't know that was a thing. That's, is that, that's not a thing, is it? I am literally so confused right now. Alright, I'd like to note. One, there are a lot of new sound effects and they're freaking me out. Because a lot of them are screaming. And two, freaking me out even more is the fact that this is to the light containment zone. Why are we in heavy? <laughs> Why have we started in heavy containment zone? That's really weird. Hi. Oh my god. Do you know why? Sir? Kind sir? Do you know why? No, he doesn't know why. He's like, what are you talking about? I don't know what you mean, mate. What are you want about, mate? I don't know why he would talk like that, but he probably does. Because he thinks he's a hard, hard geezer. Get it? Because he's made of stone. Ha ha ha, so funny. Not really, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, we've got a level 2 key card. And we know where the upgrade room is. So. Just need to go this way. Go out here, shut this. Or not. Go through here. Close this. Save, because I haven't saved in a while. Alright, gas mask. 
Open the door. Go. Go. Oh my god. That was close. Alright. Close this. Oh. Whew, I'm out of breath. I'm not, I'm not even running. I'm just sitting here. Right. F5. Are we safe? I think we're safe. Okay. So we've got two achievements already. That's good. We only need 24 more, which is a lot. But that's fine because we're about to get another one. Getting an Omni key card called All Access or something like that. So what we want to do is we want to put level one, level one, and level two. Don't know where they have gone. In there on fine, and spin around. That didn't work. Spin around. There we go. <laughs> oh, and get the med kit as well because I always forget. Uh, I might as well get this piece of paper as well. Why not? Yeah, uh, someone said to me, put the med kit in, but I couldn't remember if it was on fine or very fine. Oh, good. Alright, well, we got a level two, so I guess we can try again. Please, game. Please be nice. Come on. Please give me an Omni key card so I can get the achievement and an Omni key card, which is probably more important. And then I can do the med kit on very fine. Or is it fine? I don't know. Really, game? Oh my god. I don't. Oh, wait. I think I'm being stupid. I think I was supposed to do very fine. I was, weren't I? And I think this isn't going to work past level 3. Oh, I don't think it works past level 3. I think it just gets turned into a king of hearts or something. Close. It's the King of Spades. Right, well, we're going to have to reload because I got it wrong. You're supposed to put it in... Oh, my God, why is my nose so itchy? You're supposed to put it in on very fine, and I didn't. <laughs> it was just fine. Just like not me. But, yeah, so that was my bad. We we're supposed to do that on very fine, not fine. It would help as well if the cards didn't all disappear. There's that one. Right, just get it. put your hand there and drop it. All right, well that one disappeared. Fantastic. But anyway, very fine. Come on, key. Uh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, but I can't remember if the med kit was fine or very fine. I mean, let's look at it. Does it look fine? You look pretty fine. Uh, hey, we got two Omni key cards. There we go, unlimited access. There's another achievement unlocked. So where's that one? Refinery. There we go, unlimited access. So what, what else have we got? We got rid an encyclopedia of common diseases. Great. So we have to at some point get chicken pox. What I'll probably do is I'll probably leave that until the last thing. Like once we've got every other achievement, I'll then read that book and then walk out of gate B. Found a builder bear. That's ran. Well, not random, but. Avoided 107 for that's the painting, atrocity skull. Ah, there we go. Right, acquired the SNAV Ultimate. Ultimate. So that means we have to get a navigator. Ah, oh, which I didn't pick up. I left it on the side, didn't I? I think there's a navigator in the same room that you get the level 2 keycard. In the room where SCP-173 smashed through the glass, right? So, I'm going to drop this here. So, we need to go back there and get that. I think as well, uh, I'm going to save it. I think as well if I put the gas mask in and the med kit, hopefully that comes through. I'm fine. I should get the unlimited sprint gas mask and the good med kit. I don't know if you get achievement for them two things. Whoa, whoa, what was that noise? I don't know if you get achievements for them two things, but I'm going to do it anyway because I usually forget. And for once, I haven't forgot. Oh, the med kit's gone. Right, does it say I feel... It... Can I sprint forever? I can, right. Good, we, got, we have the unlimited sprint gas mask. The med kit didn't go through and is now stuck in the corner. You know what? I can't be bothered to reload the game. I probably won't need the med kit and now that I've said that I probably will, but whatever. Um, that'll do for now, I guess. Uh, I want to see what... I've never put a cup in here, actually. I want to see what that does. And I want to see what a piece of paper does as well. Oh, shit. Alright, well, both of the pieces of paper are gone. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure this won't break the machine, so we'll just we'll just use it. Whatever. But, yeah, so... 
Sorry I've been in this room so long, but it's like I'm trying to get ready to get all the achievements. So... I will leave, pr I promise. But I really want to know why we started in heavy containment. Or if that's just a glitch of the signs. What is that? Empty cup origami. Alright, so the machine just turns paper into origami, which is is just wonderful. Um, oh, there's an achievement for collecting every piece of paper in there. Like every document. Uh, found a possessive mask, found the cure... Old man, O96, Rogue AI. Oh, where is it? A quiet... What the hell? What is that? Acquired a telekill alloy. I have no idea what that means. Pair of 3D specs, encounter 205. Drink from the coffee machine. Come on, where is it? Encountered a peripheral jumper. Oh, that's the lizard. Smoke some good ass shit, alright. Used a sample of panacea. See, I don't know what this stuff is. Jaded ring, so, alright, so pretty much, right, pretty much, 80% of these achievements are literally just encounter one of the SCPs, it's like encounter 096, 106, the butt ghost, the the joint, get the blue key, close to 895, see, this is like, yeah, okay, so, sleep killers, Creatures of many voices, that's the lizard. See, this is all like that kind of stuff. Oh, here we go. So, read the encyclopedia of disease. Find a builder bear. Okay, so these are still SCPs. Yeah, find Dr. Maynard's office. Enter Dr. Harp's office. Acquired S development. Didn't use console commands and lured the old man for a test again. Okay, so there's not an achievement. Um, there's not an achievement for collecting every document, which is good because that would have been annoying. Pretty much 80% of the achievements are like, encounter this SCP, encounter that SCP, or this, or blah, blah, blah. So, I've basically just got to get through the game and make sure I encounter every SCP. I've got to make sure I encounter 096, 106, 049, uh, 966. Just basically every single SCP that is in this game, I've got to make sure I encounter every single one at least once to get the achievement before I finish the game. And uh, then there's a few others as well, like use the coffee machine, which is, is again, an SCP. Uh, the, the only achievements that aren't related to SCPs is like complete the game without using cheats and go into Dr. Maynard's office and Dr. Harp's office. They're literally the only ones. So it's not 80%, it's more like 99% of the achievements are like encounter an SCP. Anyway. Sorry this episode's been a lot of talking. I'm going to carry on playing for a little bit longer than usual because I've been talking so much and just standing still, so I do apologise. I'm going to try. I'm going to go. I'm going to at least get to, well, light containment zone, I guess, because it's different for some reason. But, um, oh, wait. Oh, I just remembered. If I go this way, I can find the room with the jaded ring and the encyclopedia of diseases. Which is two more achievements. No, wait, was it? Yeah, it was this way, it was this way. There we go. So I'll, I'll do that and then I'll probably end the video. But like I say, sorry this episode has been a lot of me standing around talking. But I wanted to explain, you know, where I've been, why I've been inconsistent. Like, because I started uni. Uh, and then, you know, I just wanted to talk a little bit about EGX and stuff. So, And then obviously I wanted to explain about the whole I'm trying to get every single achievement and... What not? Uh, right, let's pick this up and not read it yet. Let's pick this up. This is the oh, this is the key as well. So this is actually there we go. Key to the forest. One achievement. And there. Oh, I nearly opened the book. Almost opened the book by accident. And this is the ring. It's another achievement or not? Do we have to wear it? Uh, did we get the achievement? There we did. There we go. Found a jaded ring, found a blue key, got an omni key card, found a recursive room. So how many are there? Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty-two, thirty-four. Alright, I counted wrong the first time by quite a lot. So let me just check it one more time. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty-two, thirty-four. Uh, 
Yeah, 34. So there's 34 achievements, I have 4, which means there's 30 achievements left, which is more than I thought. But still, it's not crazy amounts, I guess. It's like I say, 90% of them are just encountering some of the SCPs. Like, I could walk through this door now and see 096, and that would be an achievement. Or I could... Or 106 could pop up through the floor, and that would be an achievement. It's like... A lot of them just happen as you play, but yeah, so... Is the bear here? He's not. I want to know why this is light containment and not heavy. Or if it's just glitching out and the signs have just been swapped or something. Yeah, see, the, uh, I think the signs have just been swapped because this area is usually only in heavy containment. So I think maybe the signs have just got swapped or something by accident. I don't, I'm not really sure, but... Oh my god, I've been recording for 20 minutes. Right, what's for this door? Alright, so that's going to be an achievement for encountering 106. Which is good. And what's this way? And I don't know what that way is. But we're going to go here. We're going to save the game. Oh, that was outside. I was like, why is there a car noise in this game? It's just outside. Right, save and quit. So yeah. Uh, like I say, again, sorry this episode's been a lot of talking. But I wanted to explain some stuff. And talk about some other stuff. But yeah. Um, so, the short version is, sorry about consistency recently, but I've started uni, EGX was good, I need a haircut, I'm going to do a playthrough where I get every single achievement. So yeah, but um, like I said, 90% of the achievements are literally just encountering the SCPs, and that happens naturally as you go through the game, but there are some other ones that I'll purposely have to try and get, like getting into both the doctor's offices and not using any cheats. Um... But yeah, so I'm going to have to leave it there for today because I have been recording for like 20 minutes. And it's like 20 to 11, which is not, I thought it was earlier than that. But it's, it's 20 to 11, so I've got to start being quiet now anyway, so I do have to end it. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. Add the video to your favorite share on Facebook and Twitter. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. There will be more SCP containment breaches as well as other indie and horror games too. Any of that stuff is massively appreciated, and I'll be your super best friend for if you do any of it. And yeah, so again, thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next video. And goodbye!